Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shisei Let's Play. We continue for episode 9 from turn 85 in the winter season of 216. So last time we started our invasion against Liu Zhang. And we're going to continue that push. So first things first, get a couple chests. Um, Let's see, what do we want? We'll stash a few more of these. Oh, I clicked it twice. That is a unfortunate accident, but I don't think it's going to affect our satisfaction that much right now. 44, 34, and one turn of public order issue almost everywhere because we're losing the five points. It's all right. We'll get it back next turn. Double clicked it there. I don't think we need to worry too much about the army, and we can go directly for the settlement. Unless they have another stack here, which they don't. Just a quick easy delegate here. They could send both army at us, but even if that's the case, we'll be fine defending this spot against that. Fleming shot secured. Yeah, we're pretty much at the borders. There's not much left to grab. We are going to take Bossy over here. Should we help? Not really. We don't need to worry about much. They can't reach. He could march this army up, I guess. Potentially that could work. We're trying to shift her over somewhere over here. I guess we'll go clean things up here with this army because there's not much else for this group to do. They're going to push ahead. And they're going to join them. And then basically we grab the rest of Ba and Basi and then we're just done. Yeah, these are all built. They're going to sweep down the coast. No resistance here. And we should be fine. We have some open assignments we can use. Not so useful, but I guess... I guess it's better than nothing. Alright, that should do it for us. I'm surprised Liu Zhang still doesn't want peace. So many weapons. We'll be able to produce ours very soon as well, so it's fine. Maybe we just ask for some money. Actually, we can throw in a few different things. We can throw in a food. Never hurts to trade at least one. And we can give him a chest. And that should be all. Now he wants the coalition. I mean, we want to be friends, but I don't want to be... Uh, we could. Let's see. Is he at war with multiple parties? We, you don't have to rush it. After we're done over here, maybe we'll do a deal with him. Oh, that's 
a different choice. Zheng Jiang got wiped by the Han Empire, and then she's bounced around, but she should still have her weapon. We don't trust her. She's not willing to spy, plus also she's unique. That's a decent amount of money. Not that we need it, but just got a bit greedy over there. Uh, is he still in a bad state? 27? I'm gonna pass on that. Take the Chengdu build up. Don't really care for spies, even though he has items. Alright, we can stall one of those armies. Don't really care about food. Another character would be nice. A little bit of income. I'm going to actually wait on this. Maybe we can get some better choices after we wipe out some of these armies. So we're going to catch up to him. Easy wipe. This is the one we slow down. He's the one we can debuff. He has a gold armor. Debuff in terms of satisfaction. But maybe we just capture him. Or have him drop his armor. Ooh, Shaman. That can help us with capture rate in the future. I could wipe them, but rather take the settlement now. It's way over leveled. Hmm. Is she in our leadership role? Yeah, she's prime minister. So we probably want something like understanding first. Also flexibility later on. Okay, we can downgrade twice. I can demolish this. Demolish this. This is something we need to convert later on. This is something we can convert now. Uh, we could use the upgrade. Dump a carrot. Actually, no, it's fine. Extra food production's good. Yeah, that looks about right. We want this, but we have to go over here. This is also important. Now we can convert this later. Let's see if we get other choices now. Still good. Don't care. Kill him straight up? Don't really care. Fa Zhong's army, lock him up. Ooh, these are not great choices. Uh, it's got worse. Ah, they have no night battle. I'm not sure who we're going to give the axe to. Alright, we have multiple build slots here. Sure, 
They'll go pick up the pass. We'll continue over here and then work our way down. That's the last piece. And then we'll fight Zhonglu afterwards. Why we don't have any deals with him. He is part of the High Empire, which might create some difficulties, but we should be fine overall. Let's see if we can get something else. This is fine. This is not fine. I want his armor. Guess we can take a character. Are you single? I think she is. She's distant. She's not on the tree. Did she end up on the tree once we get her husband? Yep. Okay. Not great traits, but we can use him for assignments. We can speed that up. Oh, I thought we used up all the slots we can do conversions which will be sort of one to one food yeah that way she can come back for all the construction Alright, that should be all. He does have another stack. We got ourselves our armor. Okay, vanguards. Here we go. New clothes. Lima Sing Dong. Boy Gui Lai. By Sing Shifo An Hao. Shirley Fun Chat. The Chat Wu Pu Shu. We will take that, yeah. We're going to recruit him and then fire him just so we get both pieces as two items. We could have given him the extra capture rate. I'll probably ignore him and get over here. They do have siege weapons, they could go threaten this.
There are so many things to build. We need to downgrade this one more time. Play just a forge. I think her assignment's in Jianning. Then if we want to give her some experience, maybe it's on Ku. Ooh, not sure what we want here. Nothing's really that useful. Maybe a forge as well. And we'll just see if he counters attack or not. Aside from that, nothing really major is happening. He wants peace now. Now we'll take all the land he has. He didn't take it, so we'll we'll sandwich him here with two armies. I actually can't reach him. He has Han Zhong. Interesting. And Cao Cao has a piece. Okay, not what I was expecting, but... We could turn this into an income commandery, but it's also quite good for corruption. I, we just go corruption reduction. We don't have enough administrators. We can't build anything right now. All right, we got knight battle. Uh, we can give her the armor, maybe just the bronze one. Yeah, the rest of the buildings are fine.
We'll see how he runs. Honestly, we don't need any more chests, but we're gonna keep compiling them. Can I kill his subjects if we're the same coalition? That's the question. Because the High Empire is definitely the last one we'll go after. So this deal doesn't really bother me. So we'll side with him. So basically we're going to be a high loyalist wiping out the two pretender factions and then we'll become too strong to stay under the Han and then eventually wipe out the Han. That would be sort of the storyline we're going for. Yeah, we can see his subjects. I'm not sure if I can fight against the subjects of a coalition member. There's no escaping. We've got more men coming from every direction. Yeah, we also catch it up to him here. Might have to march. We can solo this. Uh, in a real fight. They have two vanguards who combined has one cavalry unit on them. A strategist with two melee. The siege weapon is going to be a little bit annoying, but... We're just going to probably send a general in and take care of that. They're downhill. Yeah, it's actually okay. We can just do this. Uh, this is a free kill. We'll take this. I think these are trying to come hit us, return fire. I don't think our rocks can hit them that accurately, but we'll try. After we get done here, we should be able to come here to clean up. Oh, we got one! Wow! Okay. Yeah, 
We can clean them up with the general. We're gonna get charged. Might have to try this other duel. No, keep going, keep going to get bumped. They're done. Let's get out. Oh, we win this. He has 1% evasion? Our weapon's technically better too. We have better armor. Alright, we can go harass. Maybe we can even take out the general. Activate our cavalries on this side. We put our melee cav here on purpose so that the enemy archers shoot that one so they can cover this finished up over here. Give them a shot here. Sneak out. Look for some targets. Can't really charge this. That's also a mess. Can't really charge that. Nice. Got the kill. We can charge this. Can't charge in there. Maybe now? But still, Dong Zhou Bing, it's not just a regular archer unit. They can still fight pretty decently afterwards. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get them out of there, but we did the charge. Maybe we peel and then try to get those crossbow. Looks like there's an opening here. Yeah, we got out. Let's go here. Uh, keep charging. That unit's dead. Let them shoot me. It's fine. Yeah, kill this. Actually, we can just push the Juggernauts. Squeeze through.
can't fight these. Go get some experience. Half of you go after that. Half of you go after that. Uh, friendly fire? Well, they're just really dead. Anyone else? Yeah, without any range units on their side, we can just run up our juggernauts and do whatever we want to them. Not really a fair fight. Didn't really want to capture anyone. No shaman's fine here. It's one guy with weapon, but not that important. Uh, pass. That army moved over there. Huh, why Pyrrhic? I guess it's okay. I don't really have to worry about that army coming back. At least not that much. Save us a little bit of time. Oh, also it would be assassin. One-eyed. Not terrible. He is administrator. I think we do have to pick up some of these. Do peasantry first. And neither are good at leading this. We'll just have to wait till next turn. I'm going to upgrade some of these units. They don't delegate that well. This is probably better. I don't have to go over there. One of these armies can go back and go catch them out of position. I don't think... Yeah, we cannot declare war against him, but we can try to force him into a confederation. Given that Zhonglu is actually generic. That's something we might do. We pick up both of these without going to war with him. And the entirety of Shangyong, which puts us over here. Not a bad plan, actually. Alright, let's see what we can build. Definitely need land development. Also need that stay workshop. A lot of things we want to build here. I don't want to convert that yet until we have the reform for the level 2. That needs to be built. Private workshop, yes.
All right, all of those are good. We can actually try to confederate him now. The value we would push for is basically the pinion goes down negative 50. It will be about negative 4.8. At that time, we just basically give him the ultimatum. Uh, we cannot give him ultimatum because we cannot declare war against him. Ooh, that is not great. All right, we'll give him two of these. And he apparently lacks a lot of food. He's negative six. So this will be over 15. Let's do one chest then. I mean, we're so loaded. I guess five points is kind of what we're going for here. 88. We need to move him to 150. 150. The problem is the minus five. I can't get the ultimatum. It's not going to work. I can buy land. That's another way we can do it. Like he's not going to charge that much for this. 23. This is so affordable. We'll let. Uh, we'll try to raise it over 150 first and see what we can do with the purchase price. Wow. Why? Defiant. Right. Have some homegrown problem. I'm gonna go back over here. I will slowly chase him. Uh, because of the river, I think we go actually for this path. Yeah, we're just gonna stay put. No rush on this. We're over. We're not over sixty yet. Let's get it over sixty. Give him the famous one coin trick. Right, it's gonna be negative four point nine. It's not gonna be enough unless we pump out a few more armies and just shift the value. It, it's possible. Just. Maybe not what we want to do right now. We can buy his land, which will most likely weaken him. Oh, no, not land. We're going to give him... And then a lot of money. Okay, it's not a lot of money. It's barely any money.
你我已达成共识。欢迎朋友。We don't have to go to war. We can flex our financial superpower. Ah, one more thing. Let's throw in, throw in a bow. I agree. Oh, not max. Let's max it right away so we have a higher chance of getting or higher frequency and higher quality of weapon. See, now I don't know if he's still feeling... We got a little bit stronger. He got a little bit weaker. Also have less of a desire to confederate him now, now that we got the more valuable pieces. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. We have an open trade slot available. He quit on us. He's going to basically betray us eventually. Huh. Are they also part of the... They're not. So I don't think we want to go to war with Cao mainly because of all the schemes we have to deal with. I... I can pay for it? A lot of really bad stuff that we have and also... 2.2, 3, 4, 5.2. That was 2.1 here. The trade is worth a decent amount. I just don't want him to take any action against us. We have another open spot. Yeah, our economy is insane. Ooh, we got hit with the reserve problem. Uh, we can't do anything against this. There's literally nothing we can do to stop this problem. It's going to rebel even with that. We can, however, send help. We can summon any administrator. Yeah, these faction council events are really tough. Mm, I kind of don't want to send anyone. It's not going to be a big problem anytime soon, and they can probably go take care of it. Can't reach. We also can't go to war with Ma Teng. But I can also buy stuff from him. He seems to be lacking food. He has six food. Okay. Basically, we can pay for the rest.
I mean, copper is valuable. Um, this is not bad because this allow us to build the other variants. Silk and trade influence. Like, I think once we complete this, which we're going to test, we can build it. No, we cannot build another marketplace. Hmm, then not as good, but we'll eventually get silk, so it's it's fine. It might be the other one that we can build. We can get two copies. Or else, or else maybe this is just a military forge. We'll hang on to this. Entrepreneur is still needed. If we build that, we don't have the entrepreneur anymore. Alright, so they're gonna go to Chengdu, put down the rebellion. It's not gonna be strong enough to take on the garrison anytime soon. I'll hunt this. Alright, so we did that last time. I have to go up here. We want the copper mine as well. We also want the mining upgrades to be cheaper. We need this, we need this. This is probably first, that's probably later. Huh, nothing really useful. Construction costs, probably grab this one. Might as well grab the experience boost. Yeah, this helps. Yeah, I don't even want to cancel it and rebuild. We are just so loaded that I can probably just rush everything if I really wanted to. We now have no diplomat chess. Ah, foreman. Where is our Tianning administrator? That is now yours. That's not yours. We need more expertise. Actually, not really, because we're not actually building anything here. Is she sitting inside? Yes, she is. So what you need is actually 10% income, 15% income. He's on the field. He's on the field. Nice. 
She's actually out of chest, and I think we're okay without it. Mm, two more buildings, a couple more. Actually, we'll put it, we'll put it back on her when we need to. Everything else is good. This war will end next turn when we finish that. We just peace out with them. Oh, they're no longer. Oh no, they're still part of it. Why is the color changed? Should be still blue. Why is it grayed out? Do you, do you want to sell me some land? 24. Hmm. I mean, we do want it. Hanchong has one gate pass left as his only faction. Who can I not attack? I can't attack Ma Teng. He's also in the High Empire. Zhang Lu, Zhang Xiu. Those are all off limits. I mean, Cao Cao is the easiest target, but we're, we're in a lot of deals with him, and there's really no need to fight. I guess we'll just be buying land. That seems to be what we're really good at. We'll see how much these are. The 24 silk is definitely doable. This is going to be pricey. It's also going to ask for a lot. 30k. I mean, it's barely anything for us, which is ridiculous, but that's that's the that's the case here. Is the commandery worth 30k? No, but uh, we just want to have it. Are we done here? No, not quite done, but it's five turns to shift something. Six turns of items. She's also a faction leader. I don't want her to do this afterwards. I'm going to actually just spend money. Like, this is no longer worth waiting. Eventually, we need one of these. Cue that up. That's one turn. One turn. Three turns. Corruption reduction. Get that queued up. Yeah, she's done. We'll move her to... Hanzhong afterwards. It's better if we wait for her. And can I buy anything else from you? Jincheng. Jincheng is going to be expensive. Yeah. Can't do anything there. They also can't attack us. I think it might be time to turn on the Obey. This is a weird battlefield. Tulsa's armies, the Obey's armies. I don't even know who's fighting who, actually. What is going on in the world? Cao Cao's fighting Sun Ce. They're fighting Sun Ce, and the three kingdoms are at war with each other. And then Cao Cao's fighting Sun Ce. Cao Cao and Liu Bei is in one group. So if we go to war with Cao Cao and Liu Bei, this is an empire. Oh, they have a splinter faction. And we're the coalition to bring balance, us and our four vassals, plus the High Empire. He's the one with no friends. He's the one we should be fighting. We cancel this deal and we go to war with him. Hit him from behind. Recover our land. That's going to be the direction we're going to do. Okay, so... Shift our armies. To here. Do we not have march? We don't have reach. Uh, redeploy? Seems faster. Get them here and sail out. 
They can head for that. They can head for this. Because the war here is pretty much stuck. We can't fight anyone. Just gotta pacify some of these groups and we're, we'll be good. Administrator, go for income. Wait, where else do we still have a problem? All right, we know they have a rebel force. That's totally fine. Guess we can cut up, take the kingdom of Wu, and then surround Liu Bei essentially, and then we wedge him later. And then last step would be the Han. They're gonna have supply issues again. We have our first coming of age. A pair of generals finally joining us. Uh, Samala. Samai's brother, John Nan. Let's see, let's see. If we can end this war here, siege. Bring them up. And we don't have to be the bad guys here. We don't have to wipe out the faction. We can leave that army roaming around. Right, with that, we just peace out with them. They'll say yes. We can get both armor from him for that price. Don't really care about... Yeah, don't really care about what he can offer me in terms of cash. The armor is great. The gold one not being able to pick that up is a little bit unfortunate. It's going to go away with the faction. That general is just gone. Uh, they, they're probably going to live a few turns. I don't know if they can pay me more by... Nope, that's going to be fine. We don't have to chase them around. In position one army here. One army here. We'll take care of that problem. It's going to be a persistent problem because we just got hit with another faction council event. That's fine. All right, everything there is good. Yeah, we still have the item. We don't have any good authority boosting swords. Wait, did we faction council last turn? Yeah, we did. All right, new characters that just came of age. Vigilant, disciplinary, and dutiful, stern. Not bad. Guard spiteful, nah, not great. They can find husband and wife. We're gonna be able to multiply our forces quite a lot after this point, and we're gonna need that for the upcoming war against 
Sun Ce, who is our new target. We're out of deployment limit for this turn. Maybe we do need a couple conscription buildings because we're going to be shifting armies around eventually. We're going to prepare for this by canceling this. See if anyone else want to trade with us. He's super poor. Oh my god, I should not have asked him for that much. Alright, that's not bad. We'll end things here. That's perfect. Fight with us. Alrighty, so we're going to end things here. Uh, we're going to stockpile maybe three or four armies on this side as we are going to turn against Sun Tzu very soon. We'll recover the land he took from us and we can even buy this back from our vassal if we want to. Or we can maybe turn Nanhai into a vassal, right? We didn't really like the daughter that we got. Oh, speaking of the daughter, is the Emperor still single? Not him. Quite. Where are you? Nope, he married. Ah, that's fine. We're hoping to get him, you know, in a relationship. It would have been better for roleplay. Uh, but essentially, we're going to swallow up the south. And then we're going to sandwich Liu Bei, Kingdom of Shu Han, right, right here. And then we'll be able to take this once we turn on him, once we wipe out Sun Tzu. And then the rest is going to be against Cao Cao and leading... Well, Cao Cao and Liu Bei is going to be a, a same package, in the same group. And then we have to turn on the Han after that. So it's just one after another. Get ourselves an Emperor seat first, and we'll go from there. So until then, bye.